Hey everyone, happy Thanksgiving. I am Serena with Key360 Media and I am so glad you decided to join us this Thanksgiving for our live stream. We have a lot of great things that we're talking about and I hope it's gonna help you to plan your holiday weekend. We are going to be talking, of course, about Thanksgiving. We're gonna be talking about Out of Africa Wildlife Park. We're gonna be talking about Black Friday deals and some tips for you, some good advice on that. Um, free rides in Scottsdale, that should be a good one. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the city of Bisbee in Arizona, so check that one out. Holiday lights all throughout the state, we're gonna give you some good ones to check out. And then of course we are revealing our big winner to our um, giveaway from the month, who won two expedition passports to Out of Africa Wildlife Park. So it's a lot to get to, but I really appreciate you coming and joining us because I know it's probably a really busy day for you. I know it is for me. I've got a bunch of people coming over the house later on today in a couple hours, um, but it's such a fun day and I want to be able to give you some good information to kind of plan your weekend. And let me tell you about our magazine because we publish Arizona Key Travel Magazine. It is a monthly statewide travel guide that you can pick up at the airport or ask your concierge for it if you're coming into town and visiting family this weekend. They should have a copy for you. Um, or you could always visit our website, www.arizonakey.com, and um, you'll see our digital edition. And this week, too, I'm going to be showing you a little sneak peek of next month's cover, too, because we're going to be talking about that as well during this show. Um, so comment in for me. I am going to be looking for comments on all of the stuff that we're talking about, I want to hear from you. I want to hear how your Thanksgiving is going and what your plans are. Um, but if you want a coupon to Out of Africa Wildlife Park, I'm going to be able to get that to you if you send me a coupon that, or send me a comment that you would like the coupon. You could just send, you could just comment coupon and I'll know that's what you want. So um, let me tell you about what we did last year for Thanksgiving at our house. We did a mannequin challenge. I don't know if you've heard of this before. Um, it was actually really popular last year, so it's kind of a last year type of thing, but I'll show you what, what we did and how it ended up. It was a mannequin challenge, so it's, it's kind of difficult because everyone who's at your Thanksgiving dinner has to stand perfectly frozen. So take a look at ours, and then afterwards, let's talk about if you saw anybody move. Did you see grandma moving? She was blinking a little, but we're gonna give her a shot at it again this year and we'll let you know how it goes. But my baby niece Jojo, isn't she amazing? She was like perfectly still. I couldn't believe that. So that was a lot of fun. We're gonna do that again this year. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done a mannequin challenge. Post it if you want. Um, and, and let me know what kind of silly traditions you have around your Thanksgiving table. I'd love to hear that. That's sort of fun. So, you know, this Thanksgiving season, obviously, we are supposed to be um, reflecting and being thankful for the blessings in our lives. But sometimes we get so busy and so caught up, we don't have a chance to do that. So make sure you take some time out to do that this year. Uh, a couple weeks ago, when we went up to Out of Africa Wildlife Park, I had the opportunity to bring the whole family and they absolutely loved it. And we had a chance to talk to some people that we met at the park. And I met this guy, Larry, he's a young guy, but he has had five strokes and a heart transplant that just he just had six months before I met him. So, and what he decided to do was go on this adventure trip 
with his sister. And I just thought that was an awesome idea. It was a great way to just make those memories with a loved one. So think about doing that. And um, I'll, I'll, we did a little interview with him. We talked to him about his experience at Out of Africa Wildlife Park because he did the VIP tour. So I'll let you hear what he had to say and then we'll talk a little bit about that. So first of all, tell me what your name is. Larry. Larry. Yes. Okay, awesome. And you are from? Staten Island, New York. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? <laughs> Staten Island. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're in the middle of an interview though. I know you came here with your sister. Yes. Can you tell me about what brought you here? Um, we just wanted to take a brother sister trip and she just wanted to come to Sedona for a while and so it brought us out here. And so this park is right here. How did you hear about it? Uh, actually because of pamphlets in the hotel. That was the best way to yeah, that's where to find out. You're supposed to say because of Arizona Key Travel Magazine. Because right? I have a <laughs> So you went on the VIP tour. Yes. Tell me what made you choose the VIP tour and, and what it kind of entailed. Well, basically we picked it because we figured, why not go for it? If we're going to go for it, might as well go for the gusto. And just being able to get live and personal with the animals was uh, a chat we never have in New York. So why not get on it? Have you ever wanted to go on a real safari? And how close do you think this came? Uh, absolutely, um, and very close. Very, I, what I would is believe it would be, yeah, absolutely. How about any, like, the giraffes? Uh, the giraffes are kind of the reason I came. They're pretty much the reason I came, yeah. Then they were ab absolutely amazing. Came right here, out of our hands. It was, it was perfect, absolutely perfect. Awesome. So Larry, and his sister went on the VIP tour at Out of Africa Wildlife Park. What they got to do is ride in a Unimog, which is one of those all-terrain vehicles, and they went through the area of the park called Serengeti, and they were pretty close to those animals, I believe. And then what they got to do, and, and by the way, too, they were with, um, they actually got to ride with Dean, who was the founder of Out of Africa Wildlife Park. Um, I'm not sure that every Everyone always gets to ride with Dean, but you are riding with someone who really understands those animals and can tell you so much about them. So he got to do that as part of his uh, VIP tour. He also got to feed a predator, feed the tigers. Um, that's pretty exciting. And um, he got a special seating at the Tiger Splash, lunches included. So that's a really memorable experience if you are looking for something special to do uh, with a friend, a family member, a loved one. Like I said, he did this with his sister and my husband's done that as well. He's gone to, you know, out of the country with, uh, with his siblings and that's just a wonderful way to make memories with your loved ones. So that's something to check out. I want to also give a shout out to Jalea. She is a little girl that we meet. and we had a ton of fun. So I definitely recommend that. And remember, I will send you a, a coupon if you comment. And I, even if you're commenting after the fact and you're not watching it live, I will send you that coupon, $5 off. Um, and in addition to that, we are going to later on in the show be announcing the big winner of our two expedition passports. We're gonna have tons of giveaways. We're gonna keep going on this theme and have more giveaways for you. So you gotta keep tuning in and checking back. So let me get to some really good things to do if, cause we've got this long weekend, most of us, most of us lucky ones get uh, the day off tomorrow. We, a lot of times people traditionally will go out and get some of their holiday shopping done. So. If that is you and you are looking for some Black Friday deals, let me give you some ideas. First of all, let me just give you a few general tips about Black Friday. Um, you know, before you actually leave, and some of you guys are gonna leave right after you eat, you know, you're barely digesting your turkey and you're heading out the door. But if that's you, make sure you plan accordingly. Have a budget in mind so you don't overspend. Check those ads and flyers 
early ahead of time and and write it down on a list in your smartphone something like that um, and plan just like you're going on a trip to Disneyland plan which stores you have to hit first based on which doorbusters you're going for and that kind of thing so you end up making it to wherever you want to go. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, according to Wallet Hub's analysis, the best deals can be found at Kohl's, and they average 66% discounts. Um, next is JCPenney, also with 66% discounts, and then Sears with an average of 50% discounts. That's a pretty good savings. And all three of those stores are open today. JC Penny opens up at 2 p.m. So you gotta eat early, which we usually eat early anyway. I don't know about you. Let me know what your traditions are for Thanksgiving. Um, and Kohl's opens at five and Sears opens at six. So those are some general tips for you. Um, if you wanna do a little shopping off the beaten path, I wanna tell you about a really good deal I know about, and that is at Sammy Fine Jewelry in Fountain Hills. Um, they are open, not today, but tomorrow and Saturday from uh, 10 to five, and they are offering 50% off on everything Pandora. So if that is on someone's wish list, that you know, and those are those beautiful, really well-made, high quality charms, and you can build your own bracelets, um, and they have uh, other jewelry pieces in that line as well. And everything Pandora, 50% off. You can check out their website, sammyfinejewelry.com, for more information. So that's a good one to check out for jewelry lovers. Now, another off the beaten path idea is totally opposite. If you are not interested in shopping at all, consider Arizona State Parks because they are giving away uh, free day passes and you can, let's see, oh, you have to stop by the Parks and Trails Outdoor Recreation Information Center. The address is 23751 North 23rd Ave in Phoenix, and that's near I-17 in Pinnacle Peak. And um, you can just stop in on your way to hit those trails and do the hiking thing and get out there in the beautiful outdoors instead of trying to, you know, muscle your way through the, the shopping thing. Um, and you can also check out their website. ArizonaStateParks.com, but I thought that was kind of a cool thing too, um, that they were giving away those day passes, and I think they're good through maybe January 1st. You'll have to check the website to see. Okay, now if you love shopping and the whole mall experience, they are doing great things these days, I think, to um, really make that experience awesome and wonderful. They pull in a lot of great things. It's not just Santa anymore, although most of them you'll get to see Santa. But for example, out in Glendale, um, the Westgate Entertainment District, they have nightly snowfall that has already started. They do their snowfall in Fountain Park at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. And I will tell you, my kids, all three of them were born here in Arizona and they have seen snow falling for real one time in their lives. So it is super exciting for them to see snowfall. So I am definitely gonna bring them there this year to see that. Um, and also there you can do um, free horse-drawn carriage rides. So I thought that was kind of fun because, um, you know, you can just take a break from the shopping here and there and do something fun so you don't get too worn out. They also have ice skating pictures with Santa and live music. So that's kind of a fun option for you. Comment in, let me know what kind of, um, what kind of person you are. Are you a like shop till you drop type or are you more like, I'm gonna go hit the state parks instead? Let me know. Okay, so another you know, another option for you, let's say I just gave you West Valley, how about East Valley? If you are in the East Valley or that's where you're headed and you want a good shopping experience for traditional mall, um, I think you should check out Scottsdale Fashion Square. And they are actually, they've been called out by MSN.com as a 
great place to shop for Black Friday. So they've probably got some great deals. Um, and while you're there, did you know you can actually catch a free ride and kind of double up? You could also go over to the pavilions at Talking Stick by hopping on that Talking Stick trolley. And there's a lot over at the pavilions as well. They have a Target there. They have um, Sports Authority. They have Rosses. So they have a lot of things. And plus they have a lot of just, you know, stop in eateries like um, Buffalo Wild Wings, um, Red Robin, Chipotle, that kind of thing. So it's kind of nice to be able to hop over and not have to deal with parking. So that I thought was a cool option. Plus, again, they have a lot of just fun things there when you want to take a break. They have iFly out there. They have Octane Raceway. And if you're looking for Christmas gifts, it might be a good idea to get a couple certificates to some of those uh, fun adventure type things if you're looking for sort of a unique gift. Um, so anyway, there's a ton to do over there at the pavilions at Talking Stick, and they just opened up a new visitor center. So stop in there and they'll be able to tell you all of the great things that you can do over at the pavilions. Um, and the trolley runs, I'll just tell you this, approximately every 30 minutes, 12 noon to 10 p.m and Sundays till 6 p.m. So check that one out. Okay, now I wanna tell you about Bisbee, Arizona. I don't know, let me know if you've ever been to Bisbee um, because it's a cool little town. It's actually an old miners town. So it's it's got a lot of history and it's about 200 miles from Phoenix. So it's about a three hour drive. It's south of Tucson by about 90 miles. Um, but it's it's a great little place in its heyday. It like the early 1900s, it was actually the largest city between St. Louis and San Francisco. So this was like an urban hub in its heyday. So if you haven't been there, you definitely want to check it out because they had, because it was a, a mining town and it was a boom town like that, they had saloons, they had brothels, they had hotels. They even had some cultural institutions that popped up like the, um, let's see the copper queen library and um what else the warren ball ballpark also which you can still see today so that's kind of cool um and what happened to bisbee is in the 70s when the mine shut down and the mine employees went to different areas of the country they had this influx of artists come in because it's a beautiful place it's very um it's inspiring because of its beauty and its tranquility and so um you know people who were artists came to this town to live and and do their artwork so it, it has it's kind of morphed and it has this real artistic vibe now as well so it's historic artistic cultural you're gonna get a lot there and it has that old west feel so that's pretty cool um let's see the 35th annual historic home tour is this friday and saturday from 10 to 4 15 dollars tickets for adults and kids 12 and under are free and the tickets actually are good for both days so if it takes you a while and you want to meander through slowly you have the time to do that with those tickets so um, I think that's a really good one. Oh, and I, I want to tell you too the the architecture is really neat but they have one of the houses decked out in holiday decor so you can get some Christmas decorating ideas as well um, let's see okay well, I think we got to talk about holiday lights, right? Because even though in some ways it feels like, oh my goodness, is it already time to look at holiday lights? At least that's how I feel a little bit because it's happened so quickly. Um, they are kicking off all the different holiday lights 
this weekend pretty much. So let me tell you what we've got. Glendale Glitters. It kicks off this weekend, Friday, November 24th, and Saturday, November 25th, from 5 to 10 p.m. each evening, and that runs through January 6th, and um, that is actually in its 24th year, but they've made some changes. They are, they tried to kind of reconfigure a little bit, so there was a little bit less congestion. They changed the layout um, of Murphy Park, so it was a little bit simpler and better pedestrian flow, but they have like 1.6 million lights that go on, so that's kind of a lot. And Glendale Glitters is actually the state's largest free holiday light display. And what they do is there's parking on the Glendale Community College campus, and then they have a shuttle that brings you into Murphy Park, and you can walk around, and they have... Um, entertainment, they have food vendors, they have a winter wonderland, a petting zoo, of course some shopping and some Santa Claus. So that's a good one to check out this year. Also zoo lights you might want to check out of course. Their zoo light spectacular Let It Glow um, goes through January 14th and it's 530 to 1030 nightly. Um, they have millions of lights, a three-story lighted tree, uh, they have music in motion, they have Santa Claus, oh, and they have nightly snowfall, 7 p.m., that's another place to see a great snowfall, so my kids will want to see that too. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I want to tell you that at Zoo Lights, you can kind of choose, you can do the dinos in the desert included in your Zoo Lights package, and that ticket price is $21.95. If it's Zoo Lights only, it's $17.95, but you can save $5 on either option. If you take a look at their website and you look at the calendar, they have value nights. So it might be a Tuesday or a Thursday. They have different um, nights on their calendar. So check your schedule and see if maybe you can save $5 by going to Zoo Lights on a value night. Check that out, phoenixzoo.org. All right, let's see. Don't forget to comment in. I'm not seeing a whole lot of commenting right now, but if you comment after the fact, don't forget, I will send you that coupon to Out of Africa Wildlife Park. So I know it's a busy day. It's Thanksgiving and all. So if you're watching after the fact, that's okay. <laughs> but make sure you... Um, get our reminders. So check out our website, www.3wsarizonakey.com. And you'll see we have right on our homepage, you can click a button to see our live stream page. And then you'll know we, we go live every Thursday at 11, even on Thanksgiving. So make sure you're getting those reminders so you can join us. All right. Now, more holiday lights. This time, up in Sedona, there's the Talakapaki Tree Trail, and that starts tomorrow, Friday, November 24th, and it goes through Saturday, December 2nd. And they're actually doing this as a fundraiser for Toys for Tots, which is always very nice to do. Um, and they have like 20 ornately decorated Christmas trees, sometimes a cactus you probably will see here and there. Um, and they, you, you kind of get to walk through the shops and galleries of Talakapaki, which is an awesome experience on its own. And, of course, you're going to find some unique gifts there uh, for your holiday shopping list. So that is an awesome place to see those holiday lights while you do that. And um, let's see. Oh, yeah. If you buy a ticket for $25, you are entered to win one of your favorite trees. Wow, that would be awesome. Then you wouldn't have to put up your own tree. <laughs> Unless you like that, which I do, but it is hard work. Um, and the admission is free to that, and they do that um, 10 to 6. All right, so that was one in Sedona. Let's see. How about in Tempe, the fest fantasy of lights opening parade? Okay, so what they do out in Tempe is they kick it off with the parade and they have about 35,000 people come to this parade. So it's a lot of fun. Um, there, Santa's there, it's November 24th, it begins at 6 p.m. They have 
floats and marching bands, the whole nine yards, and that goes along Mill Avenue. And then, um, oh, they have a celebrity grand marshal too. It's Amanda Borden, captain of the gold medal winning U.S. gymnastics team in the 1996 Summer Olympics. So she's gonna be leading the parade, which is pretty cool. And it starts at, at Mill Avenue and it kinda does a U. Um, so you'll wanna kinda check out the website so you can find out about parking and um, also maybe the, the option of taking public transit so you don't have to worry as much about parking. You can park a little bit further. But if you're thinking ahead, Tempe also always does the um, boat parade. And that happens December 9th at 6 p.m. So they kind of kick it off with the parade down Mill Avenue, the Fantasy of Lights, and then they end with the boat parade, which is also very unique and cool. So we'll talk about that when it gets closer to that. Okay, now I'll hop out out to Chandler because this one's unique. They actually light a giant tumbleweed. Now, if you're not from Arizona, they, that might sound a little strange, but let me tell you what they do and why they do it. They actually started this unique tradition of building a tree out of tumbleweeds, and they start collecting months in advance uh, these tumbleweeds, and, and you know, if you're from around here or if you're visiting, you might even get a chance to see some of those tumbleweeds crossing by. Um, and they collect those tumbleweeds, they put them into a wire frame, they spray paint it, or I'm not sure how they paint it, but they paint it white with like 20 gallons of paint, and 25 gallons of paint actually, and then they put 20 gallons of flame retardant on top of that, and then they put 65 pounds of glitter. So you know that's something to see. And then they, of course, top it off with 1,200 holiday lights. And um, they, they get a good crowd, about 12,000 people usually, that come out to see the mayor flip the switch and light up that tumbleweed tree. And that is happening December 2nd, um, 4.30 to 9 p.m. Uh, the, there's a parade at 7, and then the tree lighting at about 8 p.m., and it's free admission. So that's kind of a unique one. It's not everybody that can say they went to a tumbleweed lighting, right? Okay. Now, out in Jerome, they have Light Up the Mountain. They have luminarias, tree lighting, holiday music. The festivities start at five. And Jerome is kind of a cool place too. And it has its own special flavor. Um, and you'll definitely find some unique treasures out in Jerome. So that you might want to check out as well. And then the last one I'm gonna talk about is up in Prescott. And it is Arizona's Christmas city. It was actually decreed by the governor. This is a sneak peek at our December issue. And this is the Prescott Courthouse and they light it up and you can see how they have the trees lit up. So it's a big deal. It's kind of cool that we actually have a Christmas city and Prescott is it. So you will probably want to go check that out. Um, so the parade starts at one in downtown Prescott. And after the parade, they also have photos with Santa. They'll have vendors. They'll have the local businesses will all be out, the marching band. Um, and then the courthouse lighting is going to happen at 6 p.m. And this is really cool, too. They have one of the largest gingerbread villages. And I love seeing little gingerbread houses because I actually, as a hobby, like to decorate cakes and gingerbread houses and stuff like that. So that is pretty cool. I'm definitely going to check that one out as well. So that's kind of my rundown, but I can guarantee you we are going to be talking more about holiday lights because we're going to have this going on for, gosh, another month, right? So we'll be telling you more about different opportunities to see holiday lights as time goes on because um, there's more out there, believe it or not. Now I get to announce our big winner of our giveaway this month. 
Our winner is Vicki March. Congratulations, Vicki. Um, I don't know if you're watching it live, but hopefully you'll tune in and see that you are the winner. And I really want you, Vicki, to come back on our show after you've had a chance to go on your expedition um, tour at Out of Africa Wildlife Park. I want you to come on our show, call in, let us all know how you liked it and what the experience was like, because that's what the rest of us want to know. So I'm really excited for you, Vicki, that you won those two expedition passes um, to Out of Africa Wildlife Park. And we're going to have more giveaways, I promise you. So keep tuning in. Make sure you set your reminders. I want to see you here next week, please, at 11 a.m. We'll be right back here. Have an awesome Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time.